what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite chapter 5 season 3 so you can go ahead and properly protect your account and also get a free boogie down emote and the method i'm going to show you in this video is still working perfectly fine so let's go ahead and get straight into this video but really quickly before we do that i just want to remind you guys that i am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the item shop so if you want to have a chance to get a free gift from me it can be basically whatever you want from the item shop like any skin bundle back bling pickaxe wrap emotes anything from the item shop including the chapter 5 season 3 battle pass so all you need to do for a chance to get a free gift from me is just subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and comment down below your epic games username so i can obviously add you and send you the gift if you end up winning and also a massive shout out to all of the legends using code xryt inside of the fortnite item shop you guys are absolutely amazing thank you so much all right so just like i said guys in this video i'm going to show you how to turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite chapter 5 season 3 on your account so you can go ahead and properly protect your account from any type of threats and get a free boogie down emote. So if I head over to my locker like this and go to the emotes section, you guys can see that we have the boogie down emote right here. And it's a pretty cool emote, to be honest. It's a very OG emote, it's from season four. And you guys can get this cool and OG emote for 100% free. And all you need to do is turn on two-factor authentication. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this as of chapter five, season three. So let's get straight into this video and show you guys how to do it. Make sure you guys don't skip any parts because I wanna show you exactly how to do this thing so you don't wanna mess anything up. All right, so the first thing we should do is actually go over to this tab right here. As you guys can see, once you open this tab, go all the way down and you will see this icon. So click on this icon and it's gonna give you this menu right here. And from this menu, we're gonna go ahead and choose settings. So once you choose settings, it's gonna go ahead and take you over to the main settings menu, just like this, as you guys can see. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at the top. And as you guys can see at the very top, we have a bunch of tabs. So we have video, we have audio, we have game, we have game UI, and then we have touch and motion, and then we have mouse and keyboard, then we have keyboard controls, then we have controller, controller mapping, account and privacy. So what you guys need to do is basically make your way to this account and privacy tab over here at the very end. And after you guys go ahead and make your way to this tab, you're going to be right here in this account section. So we're going to do a few settings right here in this section. So make sure you guys pay attention. So we're going to go ahead and go down like this to where it says social privacy. So you guys need to find this section where it says social privacy. And once you make your way over here, what you guys need to do is actually look down over here right underneath text chat and you will see can receive gifts. So as you guys can see, we have a setting right here called can receive gifts. And I have seen some people on the internet saying that if you don't turn this setting on from your settings, you will not get the boogie down emote. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I have seen multiple people say this. So because of that, we head over here to our settings and make sure we turn on can receive gifts. There's no reason to risk anything. So we're doing this because of that. So once you guys come over here, to your settings and turn on can receive gifts just like that and by the way why would you even have this turned off like why would you not want people to gift you so make sure you guys turn can receive gifts on if you're not able to access this setting because of your like parental controls it's all good but if you are able to do it make sure you turn this on but now after you do this what you guys need to do next is head down a little bit from here and right here at the section where it says gameplay privacy what you guys need to do is actually locate this PID display name during regular gameplay. Once you locate this, make sure you guys turn this on. And also public game stats needs to be turned on as well. We're doing this for the same reason to not risk anything because I've seen some people talk about these ones too. So we're gonna turn on these two settings as well. Once we do that, all we need to do is just leave the settings menu like this and go back to our main lobby. So in order to go ahead and fully turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, what we need to do after doing those settings I just showed you, what we need to do next is actually leave Fortnite. So unfortunately, we're not able to do this inside of Fortnite. You need to go on a browser, but you can do this on any platform. So if you're on console, 
if your console can reach a browser if your console can open a browser you can do it on there if, it, if you can't do that if your console is not capable of doing that you can do that from your phone obviously if you're playing on pc it's very easy for you just go on a browser any browser it doesn't matter which one you go to if you're playing on your phone you can also go on a browser as well so once you do that once you are on your browser all you need to do is go to your search tab and search up www.epicgames.com so make sure you guys go ahead and search up that exact url and make sure you go to the real website i'm going to go ahead and put the url on the screen for you guys to be able to type it and that is the website you need to go to make sure you guys go to the official epicgames.com website and right now i will meet you guys there on the website so this is what you guys need to do all right so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the epicgames.com website this is what you're going to be seeing on your screen we have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication so here's how you guys do that from this page look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here so bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here after you guys click account it's going to go ahead and take you over to this page so as you guys can see it normally takes you to the account settings part but i just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here but basically after you guys go ahead and load up right here you're going to see all of these different sections so we have account settings email preferences payment management transactions epic rewards subscriptions password and security in-game currency parental controls the eula history apps and accounts creator programs and marketplace seller so after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here so click on it just like this after clicking on it here once you guys load up inside of the password and security part what you need to do is really simple just scroll down slowly and you guys are going to find the two-factor authentication part right down here at the bottom so as you guys can see there are three different methods you guys can turn on two-factor authentication the first one is a two-factor authenticator app so you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here so whenever you are going to log on from like a new device or something it sends a specific code to your phone in that app and then you can just like pretty much put it right here this is kind of a hard way to do it we have email which is pretty easy you just put in your email and they send you a mail when you want to log in to your account and then we have sms which is also really simple it just sends you a short message when you want to go ahead and log into your account it sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in so it's really up to you which one you want to choose i chose email but you can choose multiple as well it is better to set up multiple for better protection but if you want to just get the emote for free all you need to do is just choose either one of these it really doesn't matter which one you choose just like i said and click on setup right next to it and just set it up it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do it's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems but if you do so and if you can't figure out how to set it up you can simply click on this how to video and it's going to go ahead and take you to the official video made by epic games showing you how to exactly set up the two-factor authentication but yeah that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite after you turn it on the first time you log into fortnite you're going to be granted the boogie down emote for 100 free and you can still do this in chapter 5 season 2 as well so if you guys found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not going to miss out on any future uploads from me so i will see you guys later on a different videos take care